Now we're going to look at achieving sepia tones inside of GIMP. First method, I'm going to duplicate the layer here. And I'm going to go up to Colors, down to Components, then Channel Mixer. And I'm going to select the monochrome and preserve luminosity. And I've already got my values dialed in here from the last time I converted this to black and white. So I'll click OK. I now have my black and white image. And then it's really easy to achieve the sepia by going to Colors and Color Balance. And then much like Photoshop, I'm going to adjust the cyan red slider towards the red and the yellow and blue slider towards the yellow till I get a brownish sepia tone that I'm happy with. Then I'll click OK and I have a my color balance sepia tone. So I'll get rid of that one. Duplicate it one more time. Go back up to colors. It's time down to components again, channel mixer. One more time, I'm going to convert it to black and white. And go back up to colors, and this time down to colorize. And I'm going to take the hue slider down towards the sort of brownish tone here. Increase the lightness a little bit. Maybe take the saturation down just a hair. Click OK. And now before I finish, I need to go back to colors and down to either levels or curves. I'm going to use curves and bump up those blacks in this image because they got a little washed out. Click OK. And that's my colorized sepia tone. So I'll go ahead and trash that. Same thing. I'm going to duplicate this layer one more time. Now we'll look at the gradient map method. So what you want to do is click on the gradient and then down here on the actual gradient, click on that to bring up a list. And I like to start with foreground to background RGB. Down at the bottom right hand corner, there is another icon which brings up the editor, in which case you can, much like the layers palette, click the new gradient button. And then from here, what you would do is select your foreground color in this case of brown, then you would drag it onto this palette or this color swatch right here and drag this color swatch into the middle. Now, the only reason I'm not doing that is because for some reason there's something in GIMP that won't allow that operation while actually recording this video. So I've actually made my sepia gradient beforehand, which I have selected here. And what I'm going to do is go down to up to colors, map, and gradient map. And it's going to apply that sepia. Now it's a little punchy. So I'm going to go back up to colors and down to hue and saturation and then just lower the saturation a little bit. Click OK and I'm done. All right, so once again, we'll trash that one there. Duplicate the layer. I'll convert that to black and white. And then this time I want to click a new layer. And as far as the layer fill type, I want it to be my foreground color, which is currently brown. Click OK. Now under on this new brown layer under the blend mode, simply set that to color. And then lower the opacity a little bit until you get your desired sepia result. And there you have four methods of creating sepia inside of GIMP.